Hello everyone and welcome to our today's webinar, Delight Customers and Increase Your Profitability with DocuSign. My name is Rose Camel. I'm the Cloud Digital Marketer at Ingram Micro in the Metro Region. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with the speaker. So if you wish to ask the presenter a question, please add your question in the Q&A area and the speaker will answer it at the end of the webinar. We will also be launching uh, some poll quizzes uh, during the webinar, so we are inviting you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on the screen. Uh, also, this session will be recorded, and we will share the recording with all of you after the webinar. Now, I would like to introduce our presenter for today, Anne Barat Benoit, the Channel Director at DocuSign in the EMEA region. Hi, Anne. Hi Rose, thanks very much for your introduction and good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm Anne Barakay Benoit and as Rose mentioned, I manage the uh, Ingram relationship for um, South EMEA and I'll have the pleasure to drive you through today's webinar regarding how to grow your cloud business with DocuSign, especially around e-signature. So to uh, we're going to go through um, a little agenda, and as Rose mentioned, we'll keep all the questions for the Q&A session at the end of that presentation. Um, we will have a little look about um, what it means for you as channel partners working together with Ingram, um, how DocuSign can help uh, your customers move, uh, move forward in their business, uh, especially in an anywhere economy. Um, we'll go through a little overview about what is the DocuSign eSignature platform and, and uh, go through some uh, click through to, to see what is the, um, uh, the main uh, uh, advantages and, and, and what would be the experience on using DocuSign. And, and finally, um, we will just uh, check on how you can support your end customers in their digital journey, uh, integrating with other platforms and uh, how this has a, a, an immediate impact on your cloud business. So maybe, as uh, Rose mentioned in the introduction, we'll go through our our little poll to get started. Uh, yeah, to just get some feedback about you and uh, and the way you 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 understand about e-signature and what would be your priorities. Okay, Rose, over you, to you. Sure. I'll start now uh, with the first poll, Quiz. it will appear on the screen. Please go ahead and vote. What is your overall familiarity with e-signature? Okay, let's move to the second one. You will find it on the screen now. Which use cases do you think are more, more relevant to eSign? Let's move to the other one. So how many organizations use DocuSign across the globe? How many do you think? It seems that we have some experts. <laughs> Perfect. 
Let's move to the other one. So what are the benefits of using DocuSign e-signature? The last one for today is on the screen. Do you have an immediate lead to implement DocuSign? Give us more votes, please. Okay. Thank you all for participating in the poll quizzes and over to you. Thanks, Rose, and thanks, everyone, for your participation in those uh, questions. We can see that uh, we've got quite a few experts today. Um, so first of all, um, first and foremost, uh, regarding your why you're attending that webinar today, is that what would be in for you about DocuSign e-signature? Well, first of all, I think we can say that it's, it's an easy sell. It it's increases the value to an end customer and it increases value on the size of the opportunity as well. It's an easy sell in the sense that it's easy to understand what is the, the value that eSignature is bringing. We're going to go through that uh, later in the presentation, but we can see that it's a cloud solution and it provides great flexibility about getting started and, and growing in an account. And uh, the, the thing that is really bringing is about enabling business continuity, especially as uh, we're in a work uh, for a remotely um, environment. Uh, but we have to think that it's not only an answer to the pandemic and to the COVID situation we've been seeing the past year. It's more in depth about digital transformation and the way we are seeing that your end customers are moving forward and changing the way they're delivering on their business because they want to bring additional value in the customer experience side. They want to uh, accelerate in the way they transact. They want to bring higher security. So we have to see that really as a, a great motion about um, change management and the way uh, customers are handling their digital transformation. Um, great advantages for you as well is that um, DocuSign has a lot of integration with other uh, productivity applications. Uh, we've got APIs as well, so that means that there's a great flexibility depending on the ecosystem of your customer uh, to, to deploy DocuSign. Additional revenue, we mentioned about that, and something that is also probably very interesting for you is that it's a great way also to differentiate from your your competitors because when you're coming to a customer with an end to a uh, beginning to the end uh, digital journey it's a really uh, bringing value to supporting their business uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and this solution DocuSign is insure is available uh, on Ingram Micro so um, I, I'm sure most of you are in contact with Ambili already, so she, she will be uh, really your contact to, to get started and move forward. So first of all, we're going to go through how DocuSign helps end customers to keep their business moving forward. So you probably saw on, on LinkedIn recently, we made some publications about DocuSign who has just um, uh, overcome uh, more than 1 million organizations across the globe using a signature. And uh, probably your question is about why, why is that? 
Well, if you look at your end customers and uh, the way they're managing their business, um, whether you're in touch with uh, the sales team, with the product team, maybe finance, human resources, all of them are handling agreements. Um, in meaning handling agreements, that means that there are contracts probably everywhere within the company, whether small or large. They will have some um, purchase order to process. They will have uh, probably some resellers or, or agreements or contracts and customer contracts to, to sign. They will go through human resources from the onboarding to the offboarding and an employee. There's a lot of documents that need to be signed and if we are in a paper world, that means that there's a lot of things that need to be orchestrated and it's a lot of paper and, and it's probably time consuming. If we have a little look about finance or procurement, every company has some um, procurement um, uh, use cases because I need to book a purchase order, I need to provide uh, some invoices, I need to um, add some vendors. So all those, all those um, use cases that you can see on the screen are really some examples about where we are seeing agreements and when DocuSign is bringing value. So that means that when you are engaging a discussion together with your end customer, whatever the business unit they're sitting with, there's surely some use cases that will ring a bell and will drive some interest for them into facilitating and answering some challenges. Because if we have a look about signature workflows, that can be a little bit complex. If we think about orchestrating paper, well, we've got to generate an agreement, then it has to um, follow up some workflow. If it's in the paper world, well, it, it can bring also some um, issues in terms of consistency because depending on the person, probably the workflow can be slightly different. Um, there are a lot of steps, as we can see here, before being completely um, uh, completed. So. All this put together, um, we can find probably a better way to handle those uh, signature steps and those workflow, bring consistency, and also to facilitate in terms of uh, user experience. Um, talking about challenges as well, um, when we're in paper world, we can see that uh, handling paper is really um, time and, and costly. Um, we need some printers. We need um, we need to send uh, uh, by by mail, uh, post mail, all those documents to get signed. Um, then we have we need someone to handle those documents before and after. So all that put together has a cost. So there's probably some um, ways to uh, to find to save uh, some money there. Um, also, turnaround time in a paper world, I'm sure you've experienced that uh, already, is that it can take a few days. If, if you send some document, you have no control at all about when that document uh, is going to come back to you in paper. Um, it can take uh, days, it can take weeks, uh, and you don't have any visibility about what's happening there. Um, Regarding experience, um, all of us are now in, I would say, a Netflix uh, streaming era where we want to have access on our mobile, on our PC. We need to have access to the information um, on real time. And with paper, again, you're kind of losing track because once it's gone through the post office, what happens next? Well, difficult to track. And last but not least about risks. Also, um, handling paper and, and sending over some, some document. Can you control that the person uh, is going, uh, is the, the right person is going to sign that document? How do you um, secure the document because it's, it's been sent and what you don't know what's going to happen there? And uh, obviously, there's also some uh, challenges in terms of standardization. So all that put together, so cost, uh, speed, um, customer experience and risks are things that um, with e-signature uh, we can bring additional value to, to customer and, and, and solve all those challenges that they're facing in paper. So why with e-signature we're bringing immediate value in the sense that when you move from paper uh, to digital 
handling and beginning to end digital transaction, you can complete agreements in less than 15 minutes for 50% of the agreements. And we're even saying that for 80% of the of, of the um, our customer feedback is that 80% of the agreements are uh, completed in less than one day. So paper cannot beat that. Um, we, we can see that there's a, a really about acceleration uh, about orchestrating and having real-time information is something key that is a really uh, a key advantage uh, from day one. Second thing about uh, eliminating a manual task and eliminating paper, um, there's an average about uh, $36 uh, per agreement saving in time and material. So I was think discussing about handling paper and how it can be time consuming, how it can be a uh, source of errors as well. Uh, it can be uh, costly in terms of uh, material, printing, mail, and so on. So all that put together, uh, we can make some ROI calculation about uh, what is the value of the agreement in paper and what means it means that moving to uh, digital and the savings that could be related to that. Um, Security and compliance. So when we are in a digital world, uh, I'm sure you always have those questions about your customer is, how is this secured and is that compliant? So we've got the answer to that, which is yes to both questions. Um, DocuSign, when you're working in DocuSign and you're processing an agreement, uh, you've got uh, everything traced in terms of audit trail and everything is time stamped. And at the same time, we're making what we call a certificate of completion. You can see here an example about that certificate, which really will keep all the history and all the different steps that that transaction is going to go through. So you will be able to see all the different signer events, when that person will be uh, receiving a notification, when that person will access to the document, probably view it, and then when this is going to get signed. So you've got a full visibility about a transaction in real time. And if there are different signers and if there are different people who are involved in that transaction because they need to add some information, they need to receive a copy, everything is completed in that certificate of completion so that you can see and you can, sh you can prove afterwards that um, all the signers went through uh, the process and, and everything is, is traced. So that's really uh, key in terms of security and compliance. Um, we are deployed across the globe. Um, at the end of that presentation, I will share with you a link to what we call the DocuSign Legality Guide, who can also share, can share some uh, guidelines about what is the regulation in place depending on the countries and how DocuSign fits on that. Also, it's, it's great to have a platform, but it's even better if that can integrate with the other applications that are deployed within my end customer. So if my end customer is using Salesforce, if he's using Microsoft, Google, Workday, SAP, all those um, applications uh, have developed integrations together with DocuSign. So um, that means that they can really integrate and offer uh, to the to the end user, the possibility to handle the whole transaction without jumping from one tool to the other. So it's also a great way to see the way you engage with the customer. If you probably start with uh, implementing DocuSign together with uh, Office 365, that probably is great because you're going to cover uh, some use cases and probably the customer is going to ask for some more um, on the short term and will ask also to integrate with other platforms. And you will still have DocuSign as the core uh, e-signature platform to be able to integrate and to um, dialogue with uh, with those, uh, those solutions. One thing to know is that if um, there's some connectors that are not available or if your customer or you have helped uh, your customer into uh, developing some custom uh, application. We've got very powerful APIs that are also available from uh, our website. And, and then you can also orchestrate by yourself this integration to be able to deliver a uh, beginning to the end uh, journey. 
As I mentioned before, um, with our 1 million customers uh, across the globe, we are uh, running into more than 180 countries. Um, our platform is available in 43 languages, so that can help also in terms of um, if your your customers are um, engaging with uh, other other countries. So that that's great. In terms of data residency, so um, our data centers are located in Europe. So that would be France, Germany, and the Netherlands. So that means that everything is is kept he, in here in in Europe. Um, I just thought I would share with you some uh, logos about customers who are using DocuSign. Um, as you can see, most of them are very large companies, but I mentioned that um, uh, really we don't care about the the size of the end customer because every customer, whether it is for five employees, ten employees, or larger than that, they all experience some uh, some challenges with paper, and and we and DocuSign has a has a place there. What I wanted to share with you today in terms of those logos was more about the different verticals that we can address because as as we we can support customers whatever the size of the company, we can also support whatever the vertical and the industry the customer is in. So if you're dealing with customers who are in the telco industry, in the media, in the in the banking system, in um, government agencies, uh, pharmaceuticals, all that uh, we we can support, and there are definitely value here. And, and that's a great way to engage together with them. So that's that's the great thing about DocuSign is that the value we can bring is really a very cross industry and, and um, whatever the size of the company. So I thought I would share with you um, some uh, screenshots about what uh, what's, what it, what does it look like. Um, after that presentation, you will also have a link to be able to open your own free trial to get started and to see what would be your experience as a, as a sender, as a signer. But as you can see on the homepage, uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You can see already um, what's uh, pending in your account, uh, which are the transactions that are uh, waiting for an action from you, uh, what has been completed. You can also have access, uh, direct access to reports, to templates. And, and you've got really an overview about uh, what's going on on your on your system and what would be pending and 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 needing some some support in terms of probably calling your customer to understand why the order form is not signed yet or whatever. At least focus more about what is your core business rather than administration and and orchestration of signature. Uh, to send a document is really uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we would fill what we call an envelope, just like a physical envelope, in which we would be able to add different documents within there. Um, so we can have uh, one or several documents. Um, that would Then we would orchestrate a workflow. Uh, we can add different recipients. We can decide if those recipients need to uh, sign, if they need to receive a copy, if they need to add some uh, more information. And then uh, I can also make some uh, customized message uh, to be able to interact with my, my, my signer. So all that is really straightforward, adding the document, defining a workflow, and, and the messaging. Once we've done that, um, I think we, we can also, um, uh, it's the right time to focus on the templates. So here, we're just building an envelope. And if, for example, I was talking, remember earlier about consistency, about delivering contracts. So if I'm, I'm in a sales environment and I can use uh, some um, order order forms that are already uh, pre-populated and where there's also uh, some pre workflow that is already defined, and that means that whatever uh, the person who is sitting in the sales team, the way they are going to send that, that contract is going to be the same. So there's consistency in the way I will handle my sales contract, and there's also consistency in the way I will probably, uh, I, I will also handle my HR documents. So templates is really something that is key, and it also helps to uh, save some time because uh, we can see that um, it's, it's a thing that um, we can prepare in advance. Uh, it brings consistency and, and rapidity. 
Tagging a document is really pretty easy. Uh, it's just a drag and drop. Uh, I can I have already preset a fields in here that I can drag and drop on my document to decide where I need a signature, where I need some additional information in terms of name, emails, phone, text, um, some radio buttons in there. And if I have different documents in there, I can also decide which are the ones where I want to uh, add some tags and the other ones that are just in here to add some information but don't need any signing. So everything can be also um, in the template. It can be prepared. So when I'm applying a sales order template, for example, on that document, it would automatically fill all the different tagging. And this is kind of it. Um, once that document is sent, I can see that from my um, my platform that I can have visibility on everything that has been sent and what's waiting and what is going to be completed and what's expiring. So um, I can send also some uh, manual reminders. I can send, I, I can preset some reminders automatically. I can set some expiration date as well. So it's really very um, easy to configure. It's all about configuration, no custom development in there. Uh, it's, it's, it's really pretty straightforward. Um, the value added in terms of change management and uh, implementation, I think if you are having some services within your company, that would be a great possibility to uh, upsell uh, with um, with your, your, your resources. Um, customers can also build some reports. Uh, there are some preset reports and they can build their own reports as well. Uh, it can be also interesting uh, when we are in a larger organizations and we want to have better visibility about um, managing the different um, business units that are using DocuSign. So that's also available and configurable. So this is a, a great way to have visibility about the trend and how uh, this um, DocuSign platform is used. So really, um, the DocuSign difference is, oh, I forgot to, upsell, to update my, my slide. I can see that it's still 750,000 customers and now we've moved to 1 million. But it, it's, we're really the number one e-signature solution. We're deployed across the globe. And as I mentioned before, um, we're, uh, this is our, one of our focus and um, we are really are very careful about security and compliance. And this is something that we, really support you on. Uh, we've got a dedicated uh, DocuSign Trust Center where you can find full details about our certifications that you can see in here in terms of ISO 2001, uh, SOC, FedRAMP, and all those uh, certifications, as well as the um, DRFR 21 Part 11 regarding pharmaceuticals. That's really useful. And then about integration to um, a third-party application which is also a great way to support a customer into uh, making the best of their um, of their ecosystem and and leveraging the uh, the value that DocuSign is bringing uh, by getting rid of paper. So really to wrap it up, um, this solution is a great way for you to uh, support your end customer's digital journey. Uh, because if you understand the way your customers are facing some challenges in terms of orchestrating the different use cases that we've been through, uh, if you're uh, engaging with those customers and, and they have started their digital journey together with you, um, there are probably some uh, also value added that can be brought by, by DocuSign. And you can also work with them in terms of use cases priority because they are not going to move uh, from day one to day two, everything suddenly, no paper and, and everything digital. There's probably some change management that is going to happen. They will start with a few use case and then this will grow progressively and, and this will expand within the same account. So that's a great transition about how this will grow your cloud business is that if you already have an install base um, with Microsoft, uh, with um, uh, Google or some other solutions, uh, you can use the, this and come back to your end customer to propose some uh, additional value to have really that beginning to the end uh, digital journey. Um, your new co, I mentioned before, that's also a great way for you to make the difference um, with your competitors. Uh, 
bringing a 100% digital journey to your customers and an integration with existing um, implementation. Um, it's great to sell and, and to, 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 to propose customers about a new solution like DocuSign, but it's even better if, if we make sure that the customer is adopting and is bringing the value that, that um, it was meant at the beginning. So for that, um, through Ingram, you can also um, get the support of our adoption services and our professional services. Uh, they can support uh, you and the end customer into delivering um, and implementing DocuSign when it comes to some uh, custom integrations or some very advanced workflows. Uh, in case you want also to get trained on DocuSign and deliver that service by yourself, uh, we also have available our DocuSign University where you can follow up some training and certification so that it also gives you uh, the opportunity to uh, additionally support your, your end customer. Um, before going up to questions, um, I wanted to share with you some additional resources that are available. Uh, our website has a ton of information, so go and check, and um, um, I think that uh, it would be um, great to get started with uh, how signature, e signature works. Uh, you can find some videos, you can find some free trial as well uh, to get started. Um, if you're more interested into um, our APIs, we've got a DocuSign Development Center where you can open up a sandbox there uh, and you can have access to all our APIs so that it's, if you're working with your customer into a proof of concept, uh, you can also leverage that resource. We also have a lot of um, description and guidelines about pre-built integration. Here I, I made a little focus on DocuSign and Microsoft. There are many more, uh, but um, if you've got, you want some details on specific uh, implementations that you would like to cover, uh, feel free to um, uh, engage with Ambili or myself and we will be uh, happy to support. Um, so that was it in terms of uh, presentation. Um, Rose, probably we can uh, take some questions. Sure, and um, yeah, we have already some questions. The first one is what kind of workflow uh, can be built there? So the great thing about DocuSign is that we can build any kind of workflow. So whether it is simple or complex, we can decide that the workflow that uh, is being orchestrated right now, for example, in a sales organization, um, that describes that a purchase order is going to follow up um, a specific workflow. We can uh, describe that workflow within the DocuSign platform and execute it that way. So it's, it, this is where it's bringing consistency, is that really the workflow that a company wants to see delivered can be pre-parametered into DocuSign platform. And based on the templates, I can make sure that I follow the rule and, and what the company wants in terms of sales order. And, pro, and also, if I'm um, in the HR and I want to uh, follow up some onboarding uh, new contracts, well, in there, I can also apply a template and execute that. So there's great flexibility. You can add as many uh, users as you want in terms of uh, recipients. Um, I think the limit is 99, so that really never happens. We have 99 people signing or interacting on one document. So you've got really room for um, uh, to adapt what, uh, what your customer wants. OK, thank you, Anne. Uh, the second question is, uh, in case of cloud version, uh, where is the data stored? So please yeah, share so, the location. Yeah, so that's a great question. So um, we've got different uh, data centers across the globe. Uh, for the Middle East, we rely on our data centers, which are located in Europe. And the country's location is France, Germany, and the Netherlands. So data residency is in Europe. Perfect. Uh, the third question is, how can I allow external users sign using DocuSign in case of users outside of the domain? Mm. That's a great question. So um, the, it's the sender who will own the DocuSign license. That means that he will facilitate uh, the access 
to older seniors who are external and and the only thing that will happen is that um uh, for example, if we take uh, Ambili and myself, uh, I'm going to send Ambili um, a contract and she will receive a notification and she will have access to the DocuSign platform and access to the document because as a sender, I made that available. So the, the license is really sitting with the sender and the signers don't have to subscribe any subs any any license they have access to the platform based on what the sender has prepared. Uh, so the license is really with the company sending the document. Hope that answers the question. Yeah, we have more questions. Go ahead. Um, can DocuSign be integrated with third party software? Yes, that's correct. So we've got some previous integration uh, with more than 350 connectors. Uh, I was mentioning about um, Office 365, uh, Dynamics Online, um, uh, Teams, um, Facebook Workplace. Uh, we've got, we've got uh, a ton of integration. Uh, if uh, for some reason there's no connector yet, uh, we've got our APIs that are open and that are accessible. There will be the, the link on the presentation that you will share after that, uh, that webinar, uh, so that you have access to, uh, to everything. So yes, that, that, and that's really something that it, that's a great question because that's really where we add value for the end customer is that it's great to have different applications, but it's better, even better if they can communicate together and we can, we can make the best of them. So it's, um, integration is key in adoption and in the customer experience. Integration okay. to third party solution, I mentioned. Uh, can we amend the envelope or template multiple times once sent to various stakeholders, for example, to change the, the payment terms? So when you, when you send an envelope, uh, so there, there are several questions in, in that one, in fact. Um, so templates are really here to prepare uh, and define a workflow in terms of execution. Uh, those templates can be updated. Uh, for sure, there's no limitation in terms of templates, and, and there are just templates, I would say. On, on an envelope perspective, when I'm sending um, a document to get signed, and if I want to update that document because suddenly I, I realize that I, I would like to update um, some, some field or some signers, as soon as the uh, signing process has not started, I can modify that envelope um, and, and update that. So that means that all the different uh, signers uh, will see that modification and will be able to sign. So prior to signing, that's sure I can, I can access to my envelope and, and update and modify some, some fields if needed, um, but before the signing. Uh, okay, we don't have any more questions. Those were great questions, by the way. Mm -hmm. So um, we still have some more minutes for additional questions if needed. We have one more. Mm -hmm. Does DocuSign keep logs? If yes, what is the retention period? I'm asking from a compliance perspective. So if I want to re validate a signature at a later date, can I revisit the logs or the reports? Mm -hmm. So that's a great question. Also, there are several questions in just one. So mm -hmm. when I'm signing a document um, with the DocuSign platform, the signature um, information will be embedded into the PDF that is um, re done through DocuSign on the signing perspective. And there's also all the details in the certificate of completion about um, what it did what. So that that's with document and I can download, once it's been signed by all parties, I can download that document and keep it into a library that I have. So for example, if I take SharePoint, I can decide that 
once all my documents have been signed, they are downloaded into my SharePoint and this is where I keep them. On, on about retention, so on the DocuSign platform, all the documents are, are stored. Now, I can also decide that I configure my DocuSign platform and decide that every quarter I purge my platform because I've downloaded all the documents into some other libraries and, and then I, I can purge them from DocuSign. So it's really, I would say, a, um, your own decision. You can keep them on the DocuSign platform as well and some other solutions within the, uh, the, the end customer ecosystem, so on SharePoint or in Salesforce or whatever. And you can also decide to, once you've, you've downloaded all those documents, signed documents, you can purge the DocuSign platform. So it's, um, it really depends on the end customer uh, retention policy, and that can be configured into the DocuSign platform. So that's great flexibility there. But, um, and to the last part of the question, if uh, I've downloaded my document and uh, in uh, two years I want to check if the signature is still valid and if the integrity of the document uh, is still uh, confirmed, uh, I can see that directly from the document, from the, the signed PDF. Um, I can have access to those information without the, doc the DocSign platform. The DocSign platform is really here to deliver into that e-signature process. And, and to add that to the document, and then the document is really um, by itself, it has all the different information. One more question, Anne. Is this subscription based or perpetual? So it's a subscription, it's a cloud subscription, and it's an uh, annual basis. So your um, Depending on the on the on the use cases and the volumes of transactions, uh, you will subscribe a number of envelopes per year. Um, in an envelope, uh, as I described earlier in the overview, an envelope is just like a physical envelope. That means that it can uh, have different documents. It will um, interact with different people, different recipients, whether they are signers. Uh, they receive a copy or they add some information. And all this is a metric of one transaction. So even if there are 15 people who are going to sign on one same transaction, it is still one transaction. So annual basis, and it's, it's based on the volume of transactions. Any more questions for Anne? We still have time. That was quite interactive. Yes. We can also take questions, Ambili and myself, after the session, if you've got some more, or if you want to deep dive into specific um, use cases, we'll be happy to support. Yes. So uh, thank you all uh, very much for this in uh, 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 informative session. Thank you, Anne, and thanks everyone for attending. If you want to learn more about DocuSign, you have or you have any question, you can uh, reach out to Ambly and Ingram Micro team after the webinar. I will share with you the contact details and uh, the recording as well. So please stay safe and stay tuned for the upcoming webinars. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Speak to you soon. Bye.